Sharo and Robbins got food poisoning and expect to be in the hospital for the next five days? No! Oh, come on! I try to do a good thing for my officers and that's what happens five days? Welcome back, everybody, to This is the Police. I'm your host, Officer Falcon. Here we are on August 9th, day number 26. Schoolgirl struck dead by lightning. I can't stop that one, you know? That's one of those things, that's like a freak of nature accident. You can't hold a police responsible for that one. Confectionery to reduce the staff and then legendary actor Paul Spaggett. Spaggett? Spaggett? Whatever. Giving master class in Freeburg. Let's go to work. Alrighty, so no false calls, no call-outs, no nothing good. Good to see. Let's go ahead and start our day over here. So I want to say, like, as of late, things have been going pretty, pretty good, I gotta say. Day number 26, uh-oh, what is this? Black protest. From City Hall, federal law prohibits public gather gatherings close to municipal buildings. The blacks are plan the blacks are planning a protest today in front of City Hall. Why is it gotta be worded that way? What do you mean the blacks are planning to, to a protest today in front of the City Hall? This is a direct threat to the life of Mayor Rogers. Eliminate this threat by any means necessary. And actually, they'd be doing me a favor that actually killed the the, the corrupt mayor over here, who's busting my balls all the time. Uh, Non-automatic weapons got me $2,100. Let's go ahead and share with the staff. Funeral for Fang. No, that happened. And salary, $600. Oh, good. Yeah. I feel like really... I feel like I need to help the mayor survive when he pays me $600 a fucking week. As the police of... Or the chief of police over here. City Hall. So this is the one, huh? Black protest. About a hundred black people have surrounded City Hall chanting, We want attention. You have to send four officers, SWAT, and the paddy wagon. Alright. Um, is this gonna be one of those things where I need to, like, have, um... Enough reason to do the call? Because when we did this for the female protesters, I got docked from my pay. I think it's the reason why I make $600 a week now. Because of that bullshit. Um, so, should I have, like, a reason? Well, I guess the deputy will, like, warn me, right? Okay, so let's go, um... Uh, how long is this gonna take? Is this for the entire day? It better not be for the entire day, man, because I'm gonna need, like, these cops back. So... Alrighty, let's send Yancey... ...and you guys, and we'll keep Kochi and Sogo over here. Okay, here we go. Jack, Mayor Rogers is misinterpreting the law in his favor. In fact, federal law allows public events near municipal buildings, including the mayor's office. Provided the event is peaceful, we better cover our asses. What I mentioned last time. Oh, shit, dude. $21,000, though? We can plant some unpleasant unpleasantness in some officers safe, say a diary featuring segregational ramblings and other extremist literature. We can even say he tried contributing to white camellia publications to his colleagues. Evidence against Christopher G. Sand. We can tamper with the answering machine at Jack's home, adding a message from the mafia, forcing the police chief to order racist attacks against the protesters under threats against Jack's family. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... That's yeah, that's my cop, Yancey. I don't want to fuck him over. But I feel like going after Sans will also get me, like, whacked. <laughs> uh, but Yancey's, like, my best cop. No, you know what? Let's, um, let's blame it on Sans. 21,000, man. Yeah, do it against him. Alrighty. We'll be covered if something goes wrong. Vargas needs help. Uh, I won't be able to respond to this one, Vargas. I'm only down to two cops at the moment. 21,000, huh? Oh, that's painful. I'm over here trying to make money up again. I, I'm I'm doing a good job now of like trying to get all the jobs possible for this, but twenty one thousand. Oof. Domestic call. Two people. All right, we have two people available. A call just came in from an elderly woman named Sarah Wilkinson. She's concerned about a baby crying and other shouts coming from her neighbor's house. She's always known the child to be quiet and well behaved. All right, we'll send two of them just because why not? They're literally two available anyway. Our people should be back from that. Thing soon suppressed by force. Yes, I guess we'll be using force, correct? Do we have to use force? Was I asked to do it by force? I don't know. I'm knowing the mayor, probably, yeah. So we suppressed by force. Maybe that'll help us out since we got the 21,000 um, bribe. Or not bribe, but like, what would you call it? Like bogus evidence? Yeah, bogus evidence works. So since I can't do that one, we have our cops back now at least. I'll hook you up with the next one, though. Oh, you guys need backup. You know what's crazy about this? Our cops didn't make it back on time, so... Refuse backup for now? 
Oh! Luckily, they didn't need a backup after all. Oof, that was a close one. Alrighty. Moonlight Soccer Stadium. This requires Paddy Wagon and SWAT. Oh, good. Good thing we used that SWAT against the, uh, the protest. Football fans have started a massive fight at the stadium. The police are trying to keep order, but the crowd isn't cooperating. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Look how many cops are required for one. And number two, we have no SWAT because we used it against the fucking protest. Damn it. Um, can I get Kochi and Soko back in time, I wonder? No, absolutely not going to happen. Alrighty, well, let's, um, <laughs> let's hope for the best here. Oh, man. This is bad. This is a bad one. I have a bad feeling about this one. We've been doing so good for a while, but now I feel like it's going to finally come back and blow up in my face. This requires two cops. Alright, Vargas, I'll hook you up. What am I luck? These people will probably need backup. And then Kochi and Sogo are gone. I don't know, I feel really mad about this one. It's an entire fucking stadium of people going crazy. Four cops in paddy wagons, smoke bombs have gone off through the stadium, and people are beating each, each other mercilessly. Fire into the air to scare the assailants, hit them with tear gas, rush into the crowd armed with tasers. Nah, man, tear gas. Yes! Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Oh my god, we made it through! Oh, good job, guys. That is the upside of having a really good rounded crew of um, offices over here, I'm telling you. Everybody's coming back. We have this call here at City Center, which requires three cops. Okay, we should be able to meet this one in time. Right? Come on. People get back. Yeah, we'll have enough. Come on. Come on. There you go. Um, carjacking. A woman called to report a carjacking. I was driving to work, stopped at a red light, and a man ran up to the car and pulled me right through the open window. Hurry, there's, tra there's traffic jams everywhere. He couldn't have gotten far. <laughs> Wowee. That is quite indeed a carjacking, I gotta say. Um, let's go with, um... Send Kochi out there. Dixon and Zubaki. Try to get these guys a couple of experience points here. Uh, we hooked up Vargas already, right? So Vargas should have a one-point lead on Sands now. This would once again tie it up. And tight is not a bad thing, so let's go and just send you two over here. Okay. Carjack and report. Offender caught. Officer unharmed. Very nice. And you guys will be getting back pretty soon. We have Yancey over here on the standby. Suburb vandalism call. Prosecutor's office. Here we go. City prosecutors have a reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your judicial powers uh, during today's protest. We're calling you in for a questional, for official questioning hearing at August 11th. Okay. Well, we'll see if that evidence shit that we falsified helps me out. I have a feeling that's probably because of the, the we oppressed it by force. Well, we'll see. Retiree Samantha Rendon was looking out her window when she saw two young girls break the window of a nearby house, then paint the word traitor and cunt on the wall. That's a really serious word, man. I don't think, um, females like to be called cunts. <laughs> really? I feel uncomfortable myself saying it, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's just a very, like, it's it's one of those words that, like, you know, if, if somebody calls me a dick, I'm not too offended by it. If somebody calls me a cock, I somehow feel that cock's a bit worse than being called a dick. So, and then, like, you know, on the flip side, if somebody calls me, like, a pussy, I'd be like, okay. But if somebody called me a cunt, I'd be like, whoa. You know, it's like, it's different phrases, the, the words, they mean the same exact thing. It's just the type of word, though, it's it's really interesting. Report, vandalism. Everything went fine? Yeah, they caught the the, the women spray-painting cunt on walls. <laughs> I'm using this excuse to actually say the word, too. Oh, here we go. No new frames found, really. Um, I'm actually getting quite worried about this case here now. I'm really getting worried about this. I'll have to look at this one a bit closer off camera. Maybe once I start editing my footage again. That's a bit weird. We can't get anything new and, like, I don't know. What if we moved all the gender stuff? I don't think it's an inside job. Ugh. Okay. What about the homicide? Okay, one new frame. Oh! There is the son now. He's got the bill. So the son is the one who probably opened the door? Maybe? Let's see. Okay, that's him, that's the door, right? That's him, like, knocking. Then the kid maybe opens the door. He, uh, comes in, tells it a soft story. Why is she holding a hammer back there like that? <laughs> it looks like she's attacking the guy. Uh. Or maybe she called him to the back. Hey, I'm back here! So he's over there, like, you know, just 
upset about the bills. Hey, I'm back. I'm here in the kitchen. So he comes to the kitchen. He's like, hey, how you doing? And apparently he reaches for the thing. I don't think it's him, though. I think maybe it's the kid. I don't know. Because this right here does not add up, you know? It's that from the back. This is from the front, clearly. Alrighty. Well, maybe just not enough for um, a setup just yet. The one that really worries me is the theft one. I feel like for that one, we're in kind of some deep shit here. Like, some really deep shit. Like, I feel like we should probably hire another detective. Or level up my detectives, too. That could be another case thing. Um, this would put you in the lead, Sands, would it? Or would it be tied again? Ah, uh, whatever. Send you guys out. I think the day's almost over, too, right? Yep, day's over. So that'll give maybe Sands the lead, or it would be tied, one or the other. But we should do a couple of these, because I've heard that I had to get killed by Sands or Vargas if I don't do enough of their missions, too. And I've been ignoring quite a bit of them earlier in the run, so... It's probably best that I don't do that going forward too often, if I have the chance not to. Subaki Dixon, they're done. Alrighty, let's see here. Nine and eight. Okay. So, we gotta make sure Vargas takes the lead next time around. Everybody's good here. And day... Alrighty, checkpoint. Day 27, August 10. What do we got? We got... Here's... Her, oh, hearse. Hearse crashes into ambulance, no survivors. Eh, how ironic. Uh, stuffed toys purchased for orphanage found toxic, and price of alcohol to increase by 60%. That's... That's lunacy, okay? You don't hike up the price of booze by that much. Fuck that noise, man. Sharo and Robbins got food poisoning and expect to be in the hospital for the next five days? No! Was that from that, that food that we bought for $300? Oh, come on! I try to do a good thing for my officers and that's what happens five days? It's a long fucking time to be out with two, one extra cop and like one detective. Can I fire them for being gone for that long, or do they have, like, medical leave? <laughs> I try to do a good thing. I was kind of like, oh, yeah, cool, I, I'll buy these guys a banquet, you know, because I'm a good person. But no, no, apparently, bad idea. You should have said no to the banquet. I, I should go over there and talk to this motherfucker and tell him what he's putting in his food. Um, I'll take everything because I'm a bit broke now. Don't forget to prepare the upcoming meeting for the prosecutors. One day left, August 11th. That's going to be tomorrow, huh? Yeah, well, um... Hey, we've, um, we, we falsified some evidence, so hopefully that helps us out. Let me go over to, no, not that, affairs. Can I fire those dudes for being out? I, I feel like they're going to be on medical leave, though. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Failed three times in a row, didn't come to work, came to work drunk, too old. No, no, he's, he's fine, man. <laughs> Both of them, I think, are fine. I can't fire them. I can't even get them whacked because they're not even on the job. Oh, man. God damn it. Four cops. Well, luckily, we have, like, a one-cop call to start off with here. Vandalism, corn monument, an elderly woman has reported that children's wearing hoodies have painted rude words on a nearby monument. Okay. Samity handled that one. Um, can I just move somebody from shift B over to shift A at least for a couple of days? That would help us out, right? Um, that should help us out. Let's see, we go to the police station. So, this is shift A. What happened to... to Strong and Grant? Oh, they're in the Academy. Well, that's the reason why we're doing kind of, like, low. So, technically speaking, Robbins... No, we're fine, then. As long as Strong and Grant come back next time, we'll be fine. We just have to deal with today just being shorthanded. But they'll be back tomorrow, or next day over. And then we're only missing Robbins, and we still have six cops. That's not too bad. We could live with that. Suicide threat. Atticus Tower, a teenage girl slipped past the skyscraper guards and found her way onto the roof. She's now standing on the ledge. A guard called the police and said that she was afraid to approach the girl. He could tell that the girl is serious. Two cops for this one? Okay. Purdy and Bukaraki. And we still have uh, Vargas needs to lead, or needs to at least tie up. And we have this call here, too. Oh, another suicide threat at the bridge. A trucker saw a teenage boy climb over the safety fence in the middle of the bridge. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. What's with all these people trying to commit suicide recently, huh? All right, so you check that out. Um, if Samity gets back soon, maybe we could have him do this one? It's only one cop for Vicus Varga. Okay. We'll try to give that one done because that would give us tied Vargas and Sands again. And then we have to give Vargas one more extra point so he takes the lead finally because he's been trailing for two days, I want to say. Vandalism went fine for Samity. Fender caught. Officer went harmed. He's over 300 now. Finally. I'm going to send them off over to... Oh, good God. We have this call here, too. What does this require? Three cops. Oh, are, am I going to have Purdy and Bukaraki back by then? 
I think so. So let's do... Oh, we have another call over there too. Jesus Christ. Vargas, go over there. We have this one too. One cop. Okay, hey, we're, we're kind of surviving just barely. Oh, come on. Guys, get back. Get back in time. They didn't get back in time. We're going to miss out on a hit and run one. No! <laughs> it left. Fender escaped. Oh, nobody killed, though. Oh, good God, we're fine. A Fender cod, the Atticus Tower suicide, that was fine. So nobody was killed, so we shouldn't um, have angry mayor taking jobs. It's only when somebody actually gets killed, right, that people start complaining. I hope that's the case. Animal assault, we received a rambling call from a man who claims that he returned home from work to find a huge cat sitting on his doorstep. Crouching and ready to attack. It was growling like a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Stuttered the victim. Oh, you, you scared of a cat that much, huh? Okay. Bukaraki, go take a look at that cat. <laughs> good luck with that cat. Apparently, he sounds like a T-Rex. And then we have this one here. Oh, good. Of course, requires like 70 cops on duty. Uh, somebody's not going to be back by then. And Vargas, that would be Vargas's lead, which we do need to get. Smid... Purdy and Paddy Wagon for now. Disorderly conduct, a pensioner looked out her window and saw a crowd of naked people running through the streets. She didn't know what to think of it and called her neighbor, who had also witnessed the outrageous spectacle. The women together called the police and demanded an immediate explanation. Okay, um, if you guys need backup, go for it. I was saying you should be back kind of soon. No such luck with Bukaraki. Bukarika. Bukaraki, whatever. Bukarika, whatever. Are you fine? The reported Catosaurus Rex is just an ordinary neighbor's pet and poses no threat to anyone. I figured as much, but uh, we still need to respond to it, right? Just in case. Samity's back, so if you need backup with that call, no backup needed? Hey, good on Smith and Purdy. Offenders caught, officer unharmed. Cool. And this would give Vargas the lead, right? So let's actually go do this one. Oh, three cops required. Um, No, no, fuck you, Sans. You've had a lead for quite a while. Let me just get somebody else back, and we'll do this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I got it. All right, we got it. Purdy, Sam D, and Bukarika. All right, Vargas should be on the lead now. Fuck you, Sans. And we have Smith over here. Available too. Sans mission's good. I'd rather those pop up than the, you know, calls from actual people I need help. At least those I don't feel too bad about ignoring. So this would give them the lead. That requires three cops. This requires three cops. Yeah. We could probably do this one and tie it up again. Because I think we'll have some cops available for this one. But we have a legit call over here. Two legit calls now actually coming in. Uh, unlawful assembly. People wearing white caps have gathered outside City Hall demanding a return for the good old days of segregation and slavery in Freeburg. Wowee! You know, it's perfectly rational. You know what, today I'm going to wake up and say, you know what, it's time for slavery to come back. Why not? <laughs> Jesus. The crowd chanted, White is right. Some were seen carrying revolvers. Okay. Well, luckily we have Swat and, pa Swat and Paddy Wagon for that. Um, we need all my cops for that one, I'm going to say. And then, well, we have this one too, which requires one cop. Alright, we have to split this shit up, man. We'd have to send three cops to this White Power rally. Luckily, the Swat has been upgraded, so they're going to be 50% more efficient. Supermarket manager Sonia Franco reports that an elderly man deliberately overturned a vegetable table and is refusing to pay for damages. He tried to escape, but store guards managed to detain the offender. Th is that really something you need me for? Like, come on now. Come on. Alrighty. Well, oh, that one's going to be required first? Really? Fuck. Are you guys going to get back in time? No. They're not going to be back in time for this one. So, Smith, dude, I really wanted to send Smith to the, the White Powell rally one. Than this one. Like, spending a, a 480 cop on this one seems very, very unwise, but if we don't accept it, then we won't get this mission at all. And we have enough time to get everybody else to the other one. Oh, that sucks so bad. Smith over here would have really helped us out a lot. Alrighty. Well, I hope that my upgrade to SWAT gives me a hand here. Oof. That one could be bad. Homicide report, no new frames found. Oh, this still worries me a lot. I really need to hire a new, a new um, detective as well. Like I, I just need to off, like ask for another detective spot. Really, who's on uh, 150, 120, 100? Ugh, these guys are terrible, terrible. Uh, let's see, City Hall. Can I request anything? No, two more days still. 
Alrighty, well, let's see how this plays out. These will be the last calls for today. Did everything go right? Please tell me everything. Then you back up. Well, we got no backup. Oh my god, they lived! Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Oh, thank god. And we got some non item deck weapons as well. Sell it. Give me the money, man. And then, uh, Smith, everything went fine over there? Yep, I'd imagine it would. Really terrible using you for that, but that's fine. End of our day! Alrighty, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. Vargas is now in the lead again. Vicus Varga has been defeated, and his army of street punks and thugs has been broken. No one knows what happened to Vicus himself, but it doesn't matter now. He'll never show his face in the city again. But he's the leader. <laughs> but he's he's the leader. I was hoping, like, at some point the game would warn me, like, hey, two weeks are almost up. Whatever you need to do, like, you know, start wrapping it up now. Because I forgot when, like, you know, so I record these, like, a couple of episodes every couple of days. I forgot when the war started, because that's been, for me, a lot longer than it probably would be for you guys just watching episode after an episode. Uh, I was hoping for, like, a, hey, things are about to wrap up, finish up what you need to do, but no. Well, Vicus Vargas lost. He's the one who I chose to help. Does Sans know that I did that? <laughs> I hope not. Well, there you go. We went with Sans um, inadvertently, oddly enough. I'm okay with that. We're going to wrap it up here for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.